Hi, I'm Mohsen Ahmad. I'm a local dental practitioner based out of Oldham and I'm also the chair of Greater Manchester's local dental network. Well, this programme came about from um, some funding that we've received through Greater Manchester to try to target some of the concerns and issues we have with dental decay in children. And what we hope to do is get children brushing more often when they're in schools, starting to learn more about how to look after their teeth, and then having more exposure to fluorides, we've got parents that wouldn't have to take time off um, from their work to try and bring their children into the dental practice or have to take their children out of school because they're suffering um, with toothache. Oldham is one of the most deprived areas uh, in the country and we are part of the Opportunity Board. And after liaising with health visitors, um, tooth decay was quite bad at our school, yeah. so uh, we feel that by uh, like allowing the children to brush teeth at school, we're, we're helping um, with that problem. Yeah, they've, they've said, a couple of them have said they've come in uh, after school and stuff and said like they, they really enjoy brushing the teeth and the children are really engaging with it and really happy. There was at least, there were at least two or three parents in my class um, alone that said that they used the strawberry toothpaste, um, obviously it's a child friendly one. Um, and we use the mint toothpaste within school and they've, they've kind of adopted that at home as well now so they've, they've got that, that good habit of using the mint toothpaste instead. In nursery we only have morning nursery yeah. uh, so after uh, they're here for three, more, three hours in the morning so after our snack uh, that's when we brush our teeth okay. uh, they're all sat in a circle for like family shared snack time yeah. uh, and then we brush our teeth after the snack time before we go out to fired yeah. outdoor time and in reception class, is and it in reception, it's slightly yes. different. In reception, it's slightly different. We brush our teeth after lunch time every day. So the children come in from lunch um, a little bit earlier. Um, we get them to line up to get collect their own toothbrushes. Um, they have the chart with each of the child's name, and it has their toothbrush picture their and their colour yeah. and the symbol. So after the first couple of weeks, they kind of got to know which symbol was theirs. And if they were still a bit hesitant of onto which one it was, then we've got the names next to it so we can help them. The only one for me really was, is a couple of children that have, have been a bit hesitant to brush the teeth because they don't, might, may not like the, the uh, mint flavour or just, yeah. the, just general toothbrushing in, in itself and we've, we've had to do a couple of like toothbrushing charts so at the end, if every day they brush the teeth they get a sticker on the chart and then at the end of the week they kind of get a reward so it's a kind of reward scheme. I think it's fantastic you know to, to have all the children brushing the teeth at least once a day uh, is amazing. I think in nursery we did lots of modelling, we had the big toothbrush out yeah. and we sang this is the way we brush our teeth with the children you know, before we started just to get them used to because some of them clearly weren't brushing the teeth, they didn't know which end was going in the mouth, which way up it was going so it was lots of using the big teeth and the ones you can put your hand inside to demonstrate, to, demonstrate yeah. to show them that they don't eat the other end and it's we're doing our tongue and all our teeth and uh, from, a, from a parent point of view, we do have good relationships, so we, we have sessions where the child parents can come in. From the children's point of view as well, they really enjoy it. I think the, the ones that were a bit hesitant at first have, have kind of turned full circle and they really, really enjoy brushing the teeth. I think the songs and the extra yeah. additional aids really help as well. And then at the end of the session, we choose um, a superstar to collect the toothbrushes and then one to collect the, the paper with the, uh, the toothpaste on as well, and they love that as well. It's just lots of encouragement and things. and. Really, really enjoy it. You know, we've got the capacity to continue to roll this out, you know, and like I said, we're taking on younger children now with the rising threes, mm. so we're getting them brushing the teeth, and I, I can't see why we wouldn't carry on with it. You know, we've got, and once we've instilled that in the parents, they can. And I think setting them those, that like those good habits from, from the young age, yeah. like from the rising threes, all the way up to the end of reception. It's a happy and healthy scheme. The children love it. At first, I'll be honest, I was a bit sceptical as to it's going to be messy, there's going to be toothpaste all down the uniforms and all sorts, but with the dry brushing, there isn't any of that at all. Yeah. And even in nursery, we, you know, we, it's, it's not the mess we thought it was going to be, you know. Yeah. They've, they've picked upon that routine yeah. and they just get on with it now. That's another thing, it doesn't take a long no. time at all. Obviously, it's two minutes to brush the teeth, but all in all, it, it, ten minutes. We're obviously a healthy school and um, when we found out about the project we were just excited to find out more. Uh, we understand the issues with dental care in Oldham and in Greater Manchester. Um, we thought it was a relevant scheme so we decided that we'd like to be involved with it. 
It's really positive, yeah, we've had a really good uptake from all the parents. A lot of them are intrigued to know our um, toothbrush singing song because during our time we, we sing during Brush Our Teeth because it's the right amount of time. So we've had a lot of requests for the YouTube song um, because they're impacting that now at home. So during night and morning, um, a lot of them are singing the song and teaching brothers and sisters, you've got to do it for this long. Um, when we come back from uh, playtime, we do come back a little bit noisy, so we come into the classroom, we'll sit in a circle and it's kind of our time for reflection and put some calming music on. The children take ownership of it, they give out the toothbrushes, the toothpaste, um, we put the timer in the middle, when we're all ready we put the song on um, and it's just a really nice way to start the afternoon, um, but it's just kind of become embedded into our daily routine now. And the whole process is 10 minutes, um, so then we're ready for learning. Yep, there is, we get um, new toothbrushes every turn. Definitely 100% really happy with the way that it is um, carrying out. We hope to continue it. So I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time out to watch this um, video uh, about some of the amazing work that's going on. And what we'd like to hope is that you've had an opportunity to see that it's, it's not very time consuming, that should be quite easy to implement in your schools and we'd like to encourage any schools that haven't um, taken part in the programmes um, so far to make sure that they get involved to try and make uh, ensure that we're doing the best for our patients and especially our younger children and what we'd like to um, ensure is that everyone gets a fair opportunity to make sure that they have the best start in life when it comes to their oral health.